Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith, and I want to talk about maximizing your interface. All right, this is something I just take for granted. I'm constantly making the Premiere Pro panels the biggest they can be so I can work easily inside them. And I don't think anything of it. And what alerted me to this issue was when I was helping people out either in person or over Zoom or a meeting, and I noticed that their, their, um, the essential graphics panel was turned on. It was taking up room. And they had no idea that it was doing that. And as a result, the timeline is smaller. You can still edit, but you're wasting this space. I think when you're editing graphics, you should be in the graphics workspace. When you're not editing graphics, you should be in something else like the editing workspace to give you more room. I'll show you why this happens. Adobe added this feature because they wanted to make it easier for someone who wanted to edit the title but didn't know anything about a workspace. Let's go have a look. Okay, so I've got my opening graphic here and a bunch of boxing stuff going on. And all of a sudden, I've got a title here and I've got a title there. And if you wanted to edit that title, a lot of users will double click. Now notice I don't have a panel over here on the right and I have a large area to edit. When I double click on this, the essential graphics panel is opened up on the right side. And now I'm cutting off some of that timeline. It's way over there. So if I hit the backslash key, I can edit, but I've got a smaller amount of room. And if I'm working on graphics, then I'm probably not worried about editing th the clips on the timeline. I'm worried about that title or that graphic or that animation. That's fine. But there is no way to go back easily. Um, well, there is one easy, easy way, but it's so easy to miss. So now somebody's finished editing the graphics, so he's no longer the contender. He's the champion. Okay, so I finished editing the graphic. Great. Now I want to get back to editing. Well, if you look up the top, this is where my workspaces are. And by the way, in the future, Adobe is probably going to change this so that the workspaces are hidden in a menu over on the right. They're always available in the window menu, workspaces, and this is what you want to do. Reset to saved layout. There's a keyboard shortcut uh, assigned to it, but if you double click on it, and you'll get a warning the very first time you, you double click on it asking you, do you want to reset this? And do you want me to warn you every time? And I just turn that off because I know what I want to do. By double clicking on this workspace, editing workspace, or if this was color or effects, all of the panel positions, including a bigger timeline, get set for me. So now look at how much room. I've got all this extra room. So if I hit the backslash key, I've now zoomed in and I get this extra room in here to be able to see this. This makes things so much nicer. Now, on top of this, I also noticed, and I think this is more of a Mac thing than a Windows thing, is I've noticed a lot of people don't have their interface Maximize, and that's the same button on Mac and Windows. It's the the uh, maximize button over here, and it might not seem like a lot that there's a tiny bit, but look at how much at the bottom I'm missing. So combine all of that with the essential graphics panel, everything is considerably smaller because I've lost all of this room. So make sure you're editing. Make sure you've maximized that workspace. Make sure you've maximized this too. So you're getting the, the full view. I never double click on a title to edit it. It's okay if you do, just remember that the essential graphics panel is open. And here's the thing, if you're a new user and that graphics panel is open, you might never reset your workspace. So you would work for days, weeks, months, or years 
and have that open and removing that space. It's a complete waste. Now, one more thing is maximizing a panel. And this I use all the time. There's a key just above the tab key on a North American keyboard. It's a little squiggly key. You can also look in the uh, keyboard shortcuts for maximizing the interface on your inter on your language. And then there's a key that that is set and you might have to set it if it's in another language. But here's the idea. If I want to open up these folders and I want to see what's in these clips, I can only see so much without uh, scrolling up and down. In the little flyout menu, you can maximize this panel group and it takes this up full screen. So now I've got all this room and this is especially good if you need to move folders around. So if I, if this folder was in that folder, so I'll drop this in there and then how do I get that out? Well, I can open that up. I've got all this room down here to drag it in. So I'm just tapping that tilde key now instead of using the little fly out menu just to make things a little bit easier. And when you have this open and you've got thumbnails and the thumbnails are also big, you know, you could be doing this to a lot of clips and maximizing the room. It's a little thing, but if you have to scroll around or zoom in or zoom out a little less every single time, and you do a lot of zooming in and zooming out on the timeline, this is gonna make life so much easier. Maximize the whole interface and uh, get rid of the essential graphics, reset your workspaces, keep things nice and tidy and focused so you can get to work much quicker. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on our store, videorevealed.com slash shop, or you can donate once or monthly, any amount. We love all of our supporters. You folks are fantastic. Thank you so much. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep my eyes open when I'm helping someone and uh, make little notes about all the things that can help their workflow move even faster.